Damn. That was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Can't see inside with this shit blocking the view. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? 
You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! There were no bullets in the gun. You were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me! You've got a knife and God knows what else! Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker! And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash! And it's time to take you out! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do! Get it, bitch! Get it! Set the fuck back now! <laughs> You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! I just shot a man, and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast, before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. Chloe, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, it, I keep seeing Frank... dead. And I'm the one who killed him. Listen, you saved my life. And yours. We have to keep going forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but 
I don't think he would hurt her. So weird how close they were. But Frank couldn't keep Rachel. Or protect her. Damn. I, I must have missed something. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel... Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. I bet I could suss out some major clues in Frank's account book. If I could decipher the damn code names. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Those clues are not related. The game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. <sighs> Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the board. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. This makes no sense, Max. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good. This is like goddamn math. I suck. Okay, this is just sad, Max. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's surveillance. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. <sighs> no. This is not working. I must have missed something. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under- <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under David's- Max, there's no logical link between those clues. Looks like this is not relevant at all. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. I'll have to analyze these plates and coordinates to see if Nathan was under da Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan.
Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own mess. Does David know what's going on with Rachel, or is he just paranoid about everybody? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? <sighs> no. This is not working. Come on. Deduce Nathan's license plate number, then match it up. This makes no sense, Max. Yep, another car David was tracking. Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Looks like this is not relevant at all. That's definitely Chloe's car. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted, and I'm pretty sure I saw... Wow, sir, this looks like an expensive machine. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Oh, fail. Abort. Wrong clues. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? Looks like this isn't the right combination. Those clues are not related. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating. As usual. Okay, Nathan's taillight is busted. And I'm pretty sure I saw that on one of the license plate photos. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. If there is a dark room, we better... <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Oh, there has... Got to be some good shit in his phone. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. code. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy.
You locked it, dumbass. You locked it, dumbass. You locked it, dumbass. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. You're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out, asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Nope. Maybe I should try to link other clues to get- Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, I, I need you to go online and help me decipher this. Chloe? Chloe. Chloe, please listen. I know this is awful, but- we're in it together, okay? I didn't have your back, and I let you down. Please don't cry. Max, I'm, I'm gonna go to the police after we find Rachel. I can't live keeping this a secret, and I don't want to be a teenage fugitive on the run, and, and dude, I swear I, I won't even mention you, okay? This is all me. Chloe. It was self-defense. I know you're hurting, but you have to just block out everything and keep moving forward. Rachel is waiting. <sighs> okay, you're right. Focus on Rachel. It's all about Rachel now. Okay. We will. 
And I know this week has been so weird and fucked up. But Chloe, this has to be our destiny. Or at least one of them. Let's just find out where this is all going to end, okay? For Rachel. For Kate. And for Frank. He was dragged into this bullshit, too. That's my Chloe. Now let's be a lean, mean research team. You have to go online and help decipher these coordinates. Because they might finally lead us to Rachel. Here we come, Rachel. Thanks, Chloe. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. So, this infamous party was the fourth. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. Not much out there. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <sighs> Poor rich Nathan. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So, he could be hiding clues there too. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir.